So far, we've only looked at an example when we have a two by two design, that is a two factor experimental design when we only had two levels of each factor. Let's try another situation when we have more than two levels for each of our experimental factors. It turns out we'll use the identical two factor linear model. We'll just have more A sub J's, B sub K's, and A B J K's in our model. But in essence, our model will be working the same way. Our tests for the effect of our two factors will be the same. For the test of the overall effect of factor A, we'll still form a mean square for factor A and divide it by the mean square for A. That will give us the F statistic observed for overall effects of factor A. The same thing is true for the overall effect of factor B. We'll still form a mean square for factor B and divide that by the mean square for A, which will give us the F statistic for the overall effect of factor B. Finally, for the interaction between our factors, we'll still form the same mean square AB, which is looking at the AB terms we'll have in our model, divided by the mean square for error. This will give us the F statistic for the AB interaction. For this example, we'll use the times to campus data set, but this time in a four by four design. That is, we'll be considering four different routes and four different times today to see what effects each of our factors have and what potential interaction we can find between route and time of day.